Welcome my beautiful people. Hope you guys have a wonderful, beautiful Wednesday evening. Hope everybody is okay. Hope everybody is fine. Hope everybody, friends and family is okay. Cause we have to give the Almighty God thanks to keep everybody safe. Cause without the Almighty God, we are nothing. So I want to say a big shout out to everyone today. Happy Wednesday. Hope everybody live to see a beautiful Christmas. So I want everybody to have a wonderful, beautiful Christmas. Although it's a rough time now we're having out there. Everybody have to take care of each other. So welcome to Selvin Kitchen today, guys. So in Selvin Kitchen today, we're going to cook a beautiful soup. But whatever soup we're going to do, we're going to do a pumpkin and carrot soup. So it's no meat Wednesday. We're going to cook no rice, no pasta, no flour, nothing like that. We're going to cook a beautiful pumpkin and carrot soup. So over here we have some pumpkin, we have some carrot. We're going to use one potato, two tomato, one red onion. If you don't have the red onion, you can use the white onion instead. We're going to use some garlic. Some bell pepper and then we're gonna put in some powder season to spice it up a bit but before we do that we're just gonna cut up the spring onion and the bell pepper and the garlic and everything like that we're gonna prepare that first before we start our soup so what we're gonna do now guys we're just gonna cut up the onion just gonna clean up the onion as I said if you don't have the red onion you can use the white onion instead it's optional uh, some people prefer red onion more than white onion and some people prefer white onion more than red onion so it's optional if you guys want to do that all right before we're gonna do I just gonna clean up this onion so we'll take up all of the skin off of the onion so please share the video people with your friends and family Share it on your WhatsApp, on your Facebook, on your YouTube, on your Instagram. They'll share the video around. Because I'm going to cook outside. It's very cold now. So we're going to cook a nice vegetarian soup. No meat. No flour. No pasta. No rice. Nothing like that. So now, right now, I'm just going to prepare the garlic so when I'm cooking guys I love to use a lot of garlic I don't know about you guys they say garlic is good for you um, I started to drink some garlic tea from the other day I did find a little bit ash but I get used to it like raw garlic I cannot eat the raw garlic or the raw onion my onion have to be cooked first after I, some people eat it but good luck to them <laughs> I tried and I and I can't, I can't eat it because I don't like to you burp in and you burp with that raw garlic I don't like it so I don't eat raw garlic but I love to cook with garlic and onion and those stuff so I don't eat raw onion and raw garlic if I go to the McDonald's or buying a burger or something like that I always I would keep up tell them to take out the the garlic out of it I don't eat it but I love to cook with it, but I don't eat it raw. So right about now, I'm just going to pick up some garlic. I'm just going to take off the skin of the garlic. And then, it's a really, not a really a long video I'm going to do today, guys. It's a quick video I'm doing. Not really a quick video. Maybe an hour, or maybe less than an hour. I ain't going to do a long video today. I have some work to do. Need to drill some hole and put up some some picture. So that's what I'm doing now. Just gonna take off the skin off of the garlic. I ain't gonna grate the garlic. I ain't gonna. I'm just gonna cut them up and put them in the pot because later on, I'm just gonna use the blender to blend them out properly. So I want to shout out to everyone. Make a mega shout out to anyone who checking in today. I don't see the comment numbers yet. 
So mega shout out to anyone who check in today on Selvin Kitchen. Thank you guys to give me the support. So to help who support me from day one till now. So mega shout out to you guys. Because you know this YouTube thing we're coming from a far away. And please share the video with your friends and family that we can grow together. 2022 is coming up around the corner. So I hope to see everybody. 2022. My friends and family. Alright guys, so I'm gonna use five cloves of garlic. And then I'm gonna use one stalk of spring onion. So I'm just cutting up my spring onion like that. Take off all of those dry stock of that spring onion because we don't want to use that. As I was saying before guys, 2022 is coming around the corner. So I want to see, by the help of God, everyone, all of my friends them and family on YouTube. All of my friends them and family who are not on YouTube. So I want to see everybody 20, 2022 coming up. I want to take care of each other, show each other a little bit of love. If you can help anyone, help any show some love, guys. Christmas is coming, so show some love. So right now I'm just gonna wash off the spring onion. So I ain't gonna cut it up big, I'm just gonna cut it up small. Um not too big, too small. I ain't gonna cut them up too small. So I'm gonna just put them in a the pot just like that. So my pot is right here. So I'm just gonna add them in the water. The garlic is the same thing. Just gonna cut up the garlic. Because later on, I'm just gonna use my food blender and then I'm just gonna blend up everything like that. So you don't have to grate tight if you don't want. So that is in bell pepper. So make sure you watch your vegetable and your season when you're cooking guys because you don't know where they're coming from so i want to give my friend a big shout out can you always say hey my friend ain't give me a big shout out so i'm gonna big shout out my friend son christine son kushane is in i always say oh give me a shout out so mega mega shout out to you kushane I said I didn't give you a shout out today, my friend. So right now I'm just gonna put in the tomato. So what I'm cooking today, guys, I'm just tired of the rice, I'm tired of the flour, so I wanna do something different. So that's why I said today, Outside it's cold now, it's winter time outside people. So we need some soup, we need some porridge to warm up our body. So that's what I'm doing. I was cooking some pumpkin soup today. So right now I'm just gonna turn on the stove. So I'm just gonna make this boil out a bit. Then I'm gonna add some salt to that. I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt to it. So I'm ready to put in my carrot as yet and my pumpkin. So let's just wash off this. I'm trying to feel this Christmas people, but I don't feel the Christmas as yet. I don't know. True outside everybody has to be careful what they're doing outside now. I don't feel this Christmas as yet. I don't know. I try to feel this Christmas. I'm though true, I'm going through going a back injury. My back not 100% get better as yet. 
I'm still waiting on the result. A little x-ray on my back the other day. So I'm still waiting on the result for the x-ray. They said the, the result was gonna, was gonna take three days. I do it from Tuesday. Last week, Tuesday. I know I don't get the result as yet. It's three times this year now, I have the same back problem. So I want to find out what's going on with this back. So I'm taking some muscle relaxer, but I don't want to live on the mus muscle relaxer. Because if you live on those in medication, you're just going to get addicted to it. So I try my best just to take them if I'm feeling a major pain. I take them if I feel like back is twisting a bit and just feel like you want to hurt me. I take the muscle relaxer, but otherwise I don't really take it. Because if you're careful or you take it, the muscle relaxer. It will make you, if you go into the toilet... It give you a little bit of problem. So you have to drink some prune juice or something like that to help you out a bit. So what I'm gonna do now guys, I'm just gonna peel I'm just gonna peel the the carrot. So you know that I cook them slowly. I'm just gonna peel the carrot. I'm using a food peeler. I think it's quite quicker, more than a knife, in my opinion. As I said before, anybody invent this thing deserves to get a knife wood. So tomorrow, I'm just gonna do another live video tomorrow. I'm gonna do some one hour live or some half an hour live sometime. I'm gonna do a a lot of people said they don't like the long life, and some people said my life then is too short. So I'm gonna do some long long life with some people. I'm gonna do some short life with some people. Because you know that you have to try and please you cannot please everyone, but you try your best to go out and please your YouTube fans then. So as I said that before, I wanna shout out to everyone who check in today. Big shout out to you guys. And this peeling the potato. I don't cut up my own in as yet. I'm gonna have some time in it. I want it just had in the time leaf. I ain't gonna have in the time stock. I can put in the time stock just to give it the flavor, and then after, before I'm gonna blend it out, I take them out. Yes, cut it. Time stock have a lot of flavor in it as well. So I'm just gonna do that. So today I get up and I say, guys, what can I eat today? What can I eat? I don't feel like to do no lamb cooking today. I don't feel like to eat no meat. I'm eating too much meat from the other day. So I decide to say, let me do some pumpkin soup. I buy a beautiful piece of pumpkin yesterday in Brixton. And I say, all right then, let me do some pumpkin soup with it. I was going to do a pumpkin stew. Still gonna do that pumpkin stew recipe, so you guys can look out for that pumpkin stew recipe. What I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna go to a stew apple, but I ain't gonna give away my recipe as yet. So you guys can put your notification on so when I post a video, you guys will get it. All right, my beautiful people. So now I'm just gonna add in the onion, so one small. Red onion in that. And then my carrot, it's gonna wash them off first. Gonna look off a nice escobe salmon, guys. Beautiful salmon I buy the other day. So this could be salmon. You can look up a could be parrot fish or red snapper, but um the parrot fish and red snapper they have been too much bone. When you buy the salmon, you do the salmon escobe style. Oh my god, trust me, fry that dry and you cook that down with some onion, some onion, and then some carrot. 
and put in some allspice, some scotch bunny pepper in that. Ooh, beautiful. Beautiful people. But you have to know to look after the, the salmon. You don't want it, you want to fry it dry. You don't want it too soft. So I had some vinegar in that with some nice ketchup and pepper with some pimento all spice. Beautiful. I think salmon now is one of my favorite fish. Not say I'm lazy to pick up the bone, but <laughs> I think salmon, salmon is one of my favorite fish. Before I used to like, like red snapper or parrot fish. But now I think there's too much bloody bone in them. So right now, salmon is one of my favorite fish. So right now, guys, I'm just gonna prepare the carrot to put in the pot. So I'm using two carrots, no, two, two and a half carrot. If you don't have the carrot optional, you can use the pumpkin at the same way with one potato. Give it a slim flavor in it, but they put in the carrot and the potato it gives the soup a little bit of body so i don't want to have no flour in this so that's why i'm using one potato a lot of people cook soup and then some people put a little bit of flour in it to thicken it now it's it's for them choice if they want to do that but i don't cook my soup like that it's more power to you guys if you find it more tasty to you uh, optional you can do it if you want it's up to you but everybody cook different so i'm just gonna cut up my potato now i'm using one potato this potato is gonna boil right out this potato is gonna blend right out so you don't want to cut up your potato then too big because everything is gonna blend right out just gonna cut it up And then after, I'm just gonna pick here a nice cup of lemongrass tea, my beautiful people. You know that when I'm cooking, I have to cook a nice cup of, I have to boil a nice cup of lemongrass tea. Outside is very cold now. Look, we wake up in the morning. The morning is dark. By 3.30 come, outside is quite dark. So we need a lot of soup. We need some tea, we need some porridge. We need some strong juice to straighten up our bone. Because winter time is a lot of sickness going around, a lot of cold. Everybody catching this, some better catching that. So you have to straighten up your body with a lot of good soup. And some good porridge. I boil a peanut and oats porridge the other day, guys. It's on my page. You guys can check it out. Check out that beautiful recipe. Wake up in the morning and I said, ah, and I should cook some cornmeal porridge. And I, and I sit down and I said, nah, let's cook something different, Mr. Robinson. As I go along, guys, I like to clean, and it's a clean kitchen, it's a happy kitchen. So, I get up in the morning and I sit down there and I said, what for breakfast? I don't want to fry up no egg. I don't want to fry up nothing, fry no dumpling or no callaloo or nothing like that. And I said, what can I look after for breakfast? And then I said, I have some oats there. But I want to mix the oats with something. First time I tried that recipe, guys. It just come in my head just like that. And, and I sit down and I say, what can I mix the oats with? The oats with. I have another thing there was, I was going to put it in. I ain't going to tell you guys as yet. Maybe next time when you guys see me look up for that recipe. And I sit down there and I said, what can I look up for this porridge with? When I look for plant A, I said, no, I ain't going to do plant A. I said, plan B. I know, I said, oh, you can look up as plan C. And then I go with plan C, that is the, my oats and peanut. 
So this side's alright then. Put on the pot, I'm gonna spice up my pot. And then after the peanut, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the peanut, I'm gonna blend up the peanut. Then when I blend up the peanut, I add in the peanut, I add in the oats. And that oats and peanut porridge was amazing, guys. You guys can check out that beautiful recipe what I have there. Beautiful recipe. Oats and peanut porridge. I think that one of the nicest porridge I make for this long time, guys. The banana porridge was beautiful. And the, the plantain porridge was nice. So I'm just going to hide it in the carrot and the potato. Everything can boil right, right out. going to hide it in some vegetable oil in it. I don't put no powder seasoning in it as yet, guys. I'm going to hide those in a minute. And right now, I just want to peel my pumpkin. Uh, you don't know the pumpkin is the major number one thing for this. So I'm just going to peel the pumpkin now. Me like that take time and go and cook down. Because everything is going to blend right out. So as I was saying before guys. That, that um, oats and peanut. Porridge was the bomb. That oats and peanut porridge was the bomb. I have another nice recipe coming up soon with porridge. Look out for that recipe, guys. Alright, guys, so right now, it's gonna prepare this pumpkin. Pumpkin seed, guys, I ain't gonna throw it away. I'm gonna do something with this pumpkin seed. But I ain't gonna tell you guys what I'm gonna do with this pumpkin seed as yet. Alright, I'm gonna clean up, cut my pumpkin in two. Nice color pumpkin, guys. So that's gonna take out the pumpkin belly. And then after that's gonna take out my pumpkin seed. I see they said they sell the pumpkin seed, I mean Tesco and has done all of those places and quite expensive. I never buy pumpkin seed and eat pumpkin seed before. I never know that pumpkin seed could have eat. But since I come to this country, I know that um, I see them selling pumpkin seed and sunflower seed. So I just take out the belly of the pumpkin, guys. So this pumpkin seed now, I ain't gonna throw it away. I'm gonna keep this pumpkin seed. I ain't gonna plant the pumpkin seed. I'm gonna do a recipe with this pumpkin seed. Maybe a 10 minute recipe or a five minute recipe with this pumpkin seed. You know that guys, when you come out to yourself in the kitchen, we're always doing something new. So you all have to hit that notification. If you don't hit that notification, people, you ain't gonna know when Selvin Kitchen posting a video. So please hit that notification. Because Selvin Kitchen, we're always doing something new. We're always cooking something new. You never know what Selvin Kitchen gonna cook. Alright guys, so now right now we're just gonna peel peel this pumpkin. We're gonna peel it in the the pumpkin seed are gonna keep them. Look off our sharp knife, we're gonna peel this this pumpkin and this pumpkin seed is quite tough. I ain't gonna use the the food peeler to peel this pumpkin. It's a little bit difficult because the pumpkin skin is quite hard. Optional, you can wash the pumpkin and you can use the pumpkin skin, but I ain't gonna use the pumpkin skin because you don't know what they spray on this pumpkin because I have a lot of those insects and never wash it properly. So I'm just gonna peel my pumpkin. I don't really see that part again. They take time and go and slow cook, guys. I don't cook, turn up my stove too high. It's taking time and go and cook. It's not really a long video I'm doing today. I think tomorrow I'm gonna do a longer video. 
a little tomorrow. I'm supposed to go back to work. Funny guys, I'm working over the Christmas. Oh. Last year Christmas, it was surely crap. But the most important thing, Christmas is just one day. We have health and strength. We have our friends. We have our family. That is the most important thing, friends and family. You can celebrate Christmas any other day. A lot of people don't celebrate Christmas. I have to respect you guys' opinion the same way. But we still have to respect everybody's opinion. The most important thing, guys, we have life. So we have to thank God for life. And please cherish that life where you guys have. Cherish it. But other people don't cherish their life. I don't value their life. But you have to cherish your life. There's one engine you have, people. When that engine shut off, it's, it's gone. So please cherish your life. Have God in your heart. Because without the Almighty God, we are nothing. If you're a Muslim, respect your opinion. We have to respect who you're praying. If you're a Buddha, if you are this, if you are that, no more power to you guys. Each nation support who they want to support. Still respect you guys' opinion. So everybody support who they want to support, who they want to serve. So I have a lot of Muslim friends. I have a lot of I have one and two Jewish friends. I have some Orthodox friends. I have a lot of friends from India. Big mega mega shout out to you guys in India. Yep, Indonesia. I have some friends in Indonesia as well. Mega mega shout out to you guys there. And my friends I'm in America. Mega mega shout out to you guys. My friend I'm in the UK, in Africa, in the Caribbean. Mega mega shout out to you guys. In in he's in China, in Korea. Big up Korea, mama. Your birthday is coming up soon. Happy birthday to you. So, I have to pick up everybody across the world, people. Because you know that we cannot live for ourselves alone. We have to live for other people. Because you never know what tomorrow can bring. Maybe you hope on the street today help somebody. Maybe another time you hit problem and that same person where you help can help you out. They say today for you, tomorrow for me. So in this life, don't live for yourself alone. So have a little bit of love in your heart, a little bit of compassion, a little bit of care. You know, we care for each other because nowadays there is no love. Most of these younger generation are growing up now, they have no love in them. Not all of them, you know, you have some beautiful young people growing up you have a lot of young people growing up all them think about jealous of what you have them people kill you and take it away they don't believe in the hard work but you have a lot of young distant young people who want to have something for themselves who want to make some make life for themselves but you have a lot of young people as well growing up people follow their friend take them gun and come kill you or rob you Because uh, in Jamaica, when we was growing up, guys, we used to go to the bush and we chop down the bush. And if we have some big tree there, we chop down the trees then and burn them out and use your picker, take out the tree roots them and dig them out. And sometimes they say that land can't grow nothing, but you plant what that land can grow. You ain't gonna plant no. Potato, nothing like that. You plant like sugar cane, you plant corn, you plant peas, you plant pap chow, you plant this, you plant that. Because it's a stony land, you know, but on that stony land, now you have to know what to plant. You ain't say you're going to plant that like, like yam or potato, because those, so those things need all the topsoil to grow. So you dig out those holes and you plant your sweet corn, 
your, your peas, your pop chai. But you make call it pop chow. Yo, Virgin, you have any pop chow to your sell? I say, yeah, man. I mean, you have milk for farming. I mean, you sell me pop chow. I mean, you sell me red peas. People used to come by it a Sunday day time. Yeah? But these younger generation, now a couple of them, well, not all of them. Nobody don't want to do farming again. That's the most stuff, so, so expensive, because I'm going to import a lot of things coming out of the country. Nobody don't want to farm again. Over here, win summertime, we do medical farming. We plant milk of bell pepper, milk of tomato. I get a beautiful crop the other day that's gonna put in the pumpkin on my beautiful people. The other day I got a nice crop of tomato. Lovely crop of I first ever get a big crop like that of tomato. I have tomato that I don't put no for doing tomato. The squirrel they start to eat them. With too much tomato, I'll give my next door neighbor them. A lot of tomato, give my friends them at work tomato. Bell pepper. With a lot of bell pepper and red peas. But only a couple of months. We, we have that in look a bit of winter for a little bit of summer for her. And that's what I do. Imagine if I did have a piece of land and it's uh, like 24-7, 365 days where I have a good winter. I don't have to go to the supermarket to buy no, no, no sweet pepper, no tomato, or no touch bunny pepper, no chili and no thyme, no nothing like that. But I plant that myself. Because I grew up with a farming family. My grandfather used to farm. My mom used to have a little bit of garden, not a big farm, a little bit. And then my uncle used to farm. Uncle Carlton, rest in peace. And then I start to have my little bit of farm where I plant my little red peas, my pap chow. Over here they call it pap chai. But you make them call it pap chow. I mean, so you have some pap chow people, pap chow them big like me head. So my head big, they used to call me big head. So pap chow them big like me head. And I used to sell red peas. I used to sell red peas. And the people used to come and buy red peas for me and, and pop chow. And pumpkin. I used to plant some nice pumpkin and okra. So these younger generation, I grew up, most of them back home guys, they don't want to work. They don't want to work, even if they cannot get any work. No work ain't going on, no true what's going on now across the world. You have land. You can farm. Plant your spring onion. Plant your bell pepper. Plant your banana. Banana take let, let run a year to grow. We aim to start to shoot. Planting is the same thing. Your bell pepper, everything like that. You don't have to go to the, 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 the market and buy everything. Market food is very expensive. And people have land, nice land, but nobody know on the farm. But my dream, maybe one day, get a nice piece of land, not a big piece of land, and just do my look of farming. That's what I want to do. Yes, people, that is my dream. All right, guys, I know I had in some garlic in that and i had in some onion in that but i still gonna add a little bit of onion powder and garlic powder and i'm gonna add a little bit of all-purpose season in that so that now is take time on boil right now let me turn around to if you guys can see my pot right there so big shout out to anyone who checked in today in selvin kitchen Merry Christmas when it come and a prosperous new year. I hope you guys have a good Christmas. So the patties over there guys cooking down nicely there. 
So I don't feel like to eat no meat, as I said before, uh, nothing like that. I just feel like to do something different today. You know, some of the time it is you wake up, you don't want to eat no meat. Uh, you just want to, you don't know what to eat. And some of the time you can't take the whole for long cooking neither. So I don't even have the mood to do the long cooking. So right away I have some pimento allspice here guys. Just gonna add a little bit of pimento allspice to that. Hope you guys can see what I'm doing over there. I just buy a, a food blender the other day. I use it, I think I use it two times already. And let me show you guys right here what I'm doing with that pimento allspice. I ain't gonna put in the pimento grain wool like that. That is gonna crush them up. All right, the pimento allspice is here. It's gonna have a couple of grain in it. Then I had a just couple of grain. Got a couple of pimento allspice is quite strong. Then I had around ten grain of pimento allspice. All right, I'm just gonna crush up that print on spice. So this is the print on spice I have here, guys. So I just crush up that pimento allspice. So I just gotta scrape out that this pimento allspice. So you don't wanna use more than a, a bit of pimento allspice like that. You know that pimento allspice give it that extra flavor. What we're looking for right there. And then I have some all purpose season. Gonna add in a pinch of all purpose season. Okay, you know that you have a season to be pot, guys. Remember, there's no meat in this, no cut noodle, no nothing like that. So now we're just gonna add in some garlic powder. Just a pinch of garlic powder in this. And then I'm gonna add a pinch of onion powder. So we're adding some pimento allspice, a pinch of onion powder, some garlic powder, and some all purpose seasoning. So that we had in that people. I ain't gonna had no pepper as yet because my daughter is here and maybe my daughter wants some. So later on I'm gonna add some add pepper sauce to it. You optional. If you wanna add in the pepper, you don't wanna give the kids any. If it's you alone, you can add some scratch bunny pepper in it. But optional, if you don't want to put pepper in it, you don't have to put pepper in it. So I have some the dry thyme here, guys. This no, some fresh thyme. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna wash these thyme. I'm gonna leave them in the tray, let them dry, and then after I'm gonna put them in a plate. Don't put your thyme like this in the fridge. Cause if you don't use them, then it's gonna go off. Let them dry first. Wash them, let them drain, and then let them dry. Then after you can put them in a jar. They stay for six, seven months, guys. You still have them same, and they're still fresh. It's a trick what I know. If I put them in the fridge and you don't use them for a time, they're gonna go off. But as long as you have them there. So this is what I'm using. I'm using around this amount of time. It's gonna wash it off. And then I just gonna hide it in that pot to make that flavor with that time everything come right out of that as I'm cooking guys I like to clean as I go along as I said before a happy ki clean kitchen is a happy kitchen 
So let me look on my path. I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing there in that path. I want to wake up with you now. That's my path over there, my beautiful people. That soup is coming on nicely, guys. So I'm gonna, just going to give that a nice stir now. Let me get a bigger spoon. So the, the time now that I'm going to put this time to the bottom of it, like that flavor at that time rise to the top. I ain't going to put the time on the top. I'm going to add a little bit more water to that. Run a cup and a half more water. See the pumpkin is coming on nicely that I put in the pumpkin last. So now my pot is fully seasoned now. What I'm going to do now? I'm just going to have a little bit in my hand to taste it. Because you have to taste your pot, people. If you need any more salt or any more thing in it, I'm just going to have a little bit in my hand to taste it. Whoop. Ah. Yeah, I think you have had a bit, pinch of salt in it. So this is the pumpkin in it guys, the carrot in it, the potato in it, the onion, the garlic, the bell pepper, the spring onion. Guys, this is a very healthy, strong soup. Warm up your body, your outside is cold. So you need something to warm up your body in this winter time here people. So I'm gonna add some some water. Gotta add some more water to that because need a little bit more water to it. Yeah, that's it. So let that take in time now and go and boil right down there, guys. Then after I just gonna blend him right out. So over here now just gonna wash up these these dishes. As I say along what I'm cooking, I like to clean as I go along. I don't like to have dirty dishes all over the kitchen, guys. So I want to shout out to anyone who check in today. Big shout out to you guys. I really appreciate it. I wanna wake up with you now. I wanna wake up with you now. Wash up some of this, get some of these out of the way, people. As you cook and you go along, you just clean as you go along. Easy for you. You don't have to have dishes all over the kitchen. You don't have to, you take out that spoon, and you take out that spoon, and you take out another spoon, and you take out another spoon. Why can you realize you have 20 spoon right there? Sit 
my beautiful people. Everything wash. It's right there. So now, a little bit of splashing over here. I just want to get everything out. As I said, guys, I love to clean when I'm cooking. So we don't have a lot of stuff to do when you finish done cook. So right here, guys, I have my blender here. Just you can blend up your juice. You can blend up anything you want to blend up your soup, anything like that. So I just gonna fix up my blender. I think I use this blender one time, people. You don't want it two times. No, I think I do a video when it's already. So you watch ages ago I used this one. Still brand new guys. You know, so I just use one part and never fully hoping this. I find out what you have in here. You have a lot of more different parts in it. So many a lot of stuff in it. I never really good on every time I use what I have in it. Mmm, nice little drug here. I think I'm gonna try this. You know, one of these days I'm gonna do a drug. I'm gonna use it and blend up my season in a minute. I never used this one, this this section of it before. <laughs> it come with a little bit of <laughs> whisk as well. You can connect the whisk to it. With a nice big jug here. I'm going to 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70 liters. Mm -hmm. We don't need that, we ain't gonna use that today. So we can put back these one. This is nice. This is nice guys, I never use this one. So let's keep up everything there. I ain't gonna use that. I ain't gonna use that. So I'm gonna use this one. This is the magic guys. I'm gonna rinse it off. I washed them already and I did dry them and put them up, but you still give it a little bit of rinse. They're using electric, so you don't want the water to get down in it. So just give it a nice little dry.
Yes, my beautiful people, this is ready to go. So I gotta check that pack one more time before I blend it right out, guys. So the pack is over here cooking on nice with that pumpkin and carrot soup. As I said, guys, no meat Wednesday. So I'm just gonna check this pack now what's going on in it. Yeah, before I start to blend it up, I'm just gonna take out the, the time, cause you don't want to blend up those time in it. You wanna take out the time, but let the time boil out first and give it that nice taste, that flavor. You don't want to blend up all of those time stick. But before you start to blend it up, let me give it another taste again. Add a little bit in my hand. Oh yes. It's gonna have a pinch of pepper to that. That's a pinch of pepper. I ain't gonna put in no scotch bunny pepper. Gonna have in a pinch of pepper. It's optional. If you don't want to put in pepper in it, it's optional. But if you want to put in pepper in it, put in the pepper to your taste, to your tolerant. Maybe a lot of people cannot take pepper. A lot of people cannot take spice. But put in the pepper to your tolerant. A lot of people like to eat pepper, you see, then sweat in our water, run off of their forehead. But good luck to you guys. I can't eat my pepper like that. I used to love a lot of pepper like that, but since I'm getting older, guys, I cannot eat a lot of pepper again like before. But I have to have a little bit of pepper in my food if I'm eating food, especially fish or chicken, something like that. I have to put in a little bit of pepper in it, but not too much pepper. That's so my time you go out, go buy some food. All you taste is the pepper. Nothing more. You don't taste the flavor of the food. You don't taste the seasoning of the food. All you taste pepper. What type of food is that? They just taste in bay pepper. No. You need to taste the flavor. You need to taste the seasoning in the food. You don't want to eat your food in the I gotta eat there. It's too much pepper. No. You want to eat your food and you can taste the flavor kicking out of that food. So right now, my beautiful people, I just gonna blend out this nice pumpkin soup. What we're looking out for today, pumpkin and carrot, no meat Wednesday. So I'm just gonna put this right here, guys. My extension. So let me connect this. All right, my beautiful people. I got this. Blend this baby away. Oh, I need to make a mistake here, guys. I never take out that time. Be careful, don't make that mistake. You don't you have to take out that piece of time in it. Cause you don't want to blend those time sticking it. Cause you don't want to drink in your soup and then you're spitting out all those sticking out those time time stick will choke you. So anyway. You're cooking, guys. Please look for this. If you're adding thyme in it, it's optional. You can use, you can strip off the thyme leaf, but I think this stick having a lot of flavor in it. So please take out this thyme stick before you blend it up. Because you don't want to blend it up and you don't, you, you're going to choke on this thyme stick. So please take them out first. I nearly made that mistake a while ago. Set any more in it. 
it's another piece. I think I put two pieces of thyme in it. So please take out those thyme stick before you blend it up, guys. Because if you don't take them out, the blender ain't gonna blend out that thyme stock properly. So please take out those thyme stick if you guys are gonna look after this recipe. Let me go up a little bit nearer that you guys can see what I'm doing right there. So now guys, I'm just gonna blend it out now. I'm looking off a nice refined thick soup today guys. Nothing chewy. For the winter, if you have somebody at home or you don't know what to cook, somebody may be far along hill. You can look up for some of this soup and let them try and drink it. Oh, look at that, my beautiful people. Beautiful people, look how thick that is. Ooh. Because we're blending all of that carrot out, all of that bell pepper, all of that garlic, all of that onion, all of that tomato, all of that pumpkin. Everything is blend right out. So me and this boil in here, you blended it right out. Don't lift up the blender too high or out of, the, out of the soup. You don't want it to splash. Hold it down in it. Move it around. Give it a break for a minute. You want to cool on that motor. And go again. You know, guys, when you come on to sell in kitchen, you know, people, you know that we are always doing something new. We try to come up with something new recipe all the time. We don't want to cook the same old, same old all the time. So, please give the notification, people. Please give me a thumbs up for the video. Please like the video before you go. And please check out the rest of the channel, guys. I have some beautiful recipe there on my page. So, please check it out. And please share it with your friends and family. Share it on your WhatsApp, on your YouTube, on your Instagram, on your Facebook. Let me turn on this fire. They're getting thick now. They're getting thick like a, we're cooking a porridge. And when they get into thick like that, they're going to flash out. And if you guys have a spare device at home, please check out my playlist, guys. I have a playlist there with a lot of nice recipe there. Please check out the playlist. And if you guys can play that playlist, I really appreciate it. Oh yes. So what I'm gonna do now, guys, I'm just gonna use a spoon. I'm just gonna stir it. We're gonna stir it and look in it at if any lumps in it. Cause you wanna check it first if that blender doing your job properly. You wanna stir it first and just look on it. If anything, any lumps or any piece of food there, anything wanna blend right out. Oh yeah. Look at that, my beautiful people. Oh my god. Look at that. Woo! That rich like a rich tea biscuit. Look how thick that is. Very nice, delicious, easy recipe, guys. Very easy recipe. I'm just stir it around, just mix it around. I just want to check it. If everything blend out right, everything blend out properly. Oh, yes. Look at that. 
beautiful color. That red bell pepper, you can see the red bell pepper sparks them still in it same way. You give it that, oh my God, look at that. That's I said, if you had one potato, and you don't want to have more than one potato, you don't want it too thick. You don't want it too thick or too runny, you just want it right, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful people. Beautiful soup. As I said, when you blend it, just turn on your stove properly because it's splashing, because it's so thick now. Or like when you're cooking like a cornmeal porridge, just splash up all over the place. So, that blender are doing job properly. So I'm just gonna give it two minutes more. We're gonna take that blender now and wash it, put on a lid and that, give it two minutes more and then I'm gonna take it off. The beautiful soup, guys. Look at that, guys. Let me zoom in and show you guys. Look at that, look how that soup is thick. Look at that. <laughs> you don't want nothing more than that, my beautiful people, in this cold winter. Trust me, if you guys in a tropical country like in Jamaica, in Africa, uh, South America, you can look out for the same delicious, easy recipe. Very easy recipe. I want to wake up with you now. Say what you... I just got to put on the lid on that, my beautiful people. Turn on my stove very low. Let that go on. Cook slowly down. Then my blender now is going to wash him down and put him up back to next time. He's falling down. Say what you want to say to me now. I want to wake up with you. Talk to me, come and say to me now. I want to wake up with you. Say what you want to say to me now. I want to wake up with you. Say to me now. Beautiful recipe guys. You can try this recipe. Suppose you have your mom at home, your dad at home, your kids at home. Or you don't know what have a soup to cook. You feel like you're to drink some soup. Check this recipe guys. Follow this recipe step by step and you cannot go wrong. As I, as I said before people, put in the pepper to your tolerance. So right now what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to clean up this blender. I'm just going to put him up back. Then next time... If you want to make some juice, it's good, good blender to use. Normally, if you don't have something like this, you have to put it in your, your blink, 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 blink blender and jug by jug and then you blend it and you throw it out in a bowl and then blend it. But this one, you don't have to do that. As I said, guys, you take care of your, your equipment, them, your equipment, they will take care of you. When you finish, use it, clean it, dry and put them up back. The next time, it's ready to go again. I'm just going to dry this one now and put them up back. So the next time, if I'm making some juice, I think I'm going to make some cereal juice, guys. Prepare for that cereal juice. What I'm going to make... You want to dry all of that water. You don't want to add in, put no water in it when you're going to put it down. You really don't want to get rust. So you get all of that water out of it. And the soup is there and you're ready now, guys. Beautiful. Cannot wait to have some of that soup. Okay, you know that's winter time in the UK. So we have to have a little bit of soup to warm up our body. Because outside is cold. You have to straighten up the bone, straighten up it. Turn up the muscle and everything like that to go out. So I'm just gonna wash up these guys before I take off that. 
I'm going to turn off that stove right now, guys. I'm going to turn it off. Because it's thick now. You don't want to keep that stove on. And then the bottom of it starts to burn. So I switch off that stove. Let it go and cool down there. Then I'm going to share some of that for my dinner, my beautiful people. Thank you guys for checking today in Selvin Kitchen. Thank you guys for showing me the love. Thank you guys for giving me a thumbs up. And please share the video with your friends and family. Share it on your WhatsApp, on your YouTube, on your Instagram, and your Facebook, guys. Share it with your friends and your family at home. Okay, you know that Selvin Kitchen, we have a lot of awesome, delicious recipe coming out soon. And cake. I'm going to have some new cake going to come out very soon, guys. So hit that notification. I don't bake no cake this year. Every year I always bake like Christmas cake, but this year I don't feel it, my beautiful people. You know, you don't feel something, you don't push it. Because if you push it and you force it, your, your cake ain't going to come out good and tasty. So when you're baking a cake, you have, to have your mind and your soul and your body and everything there. And you want to put in your hole to it. So I am baking no cake till the end this year. I don't feel it. Maybe yeah, I bake one. The middle of the year or the start of the year. Alright, so I finished with this thing now. Just gonna put them up back. So just gonna put up that one back. So next time I'm ready to use it. Yeah, I'm ready clean already, all of it will just rinse them off a bit and it's ready to go. So let's get that out of the way, my beautiful people. And then what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna share out some of that soup. Sure, some of that nice delicious soup there guys. Trust me. As I said before, guys, if you cannot follow this recipe step by step, you cannot go wrong with it. Recipe. This is a healthy, delicious recipe. So I'm just gonna pack away these things and then I'm gonna share some of that delicious soup there, guys. I'm telling you that I cannot wait to have some of that soup. And I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year 2022 coming up soon. Hope that 2022 everybody will be stronger and better. 2022 will be a better year for everyone. We have to hope for the best, we can't hope for the worst. I wanna wake up with you. Okay, we're going to share some of this soup for dinner, guys. And thank you guys for checking in today. Thank you guys for showing me the love. Thank you guys to... I cannot look on the commenters yet, guys, because in the future... I'm gonna invest in a good camera, but for the time being, I just use what I have. But I know when the future come, I'm gonna invest in a good camera, my beautiful people. So I'm gonna drop the link there. Anybody wanna be a patron? They can sign up to be a patron. Anybody wanna be a member? It's with Selvin Kitchen. The kind of that Selvin Kitchen guys will have a lot of awesome, delicious recipe coming out soon. And guys, if you don't check out my playlist, please check it out. Right now, we're just gonna show some of this soup for dinner, guys. So let me show you guys over here what I'm gonna share. Some of this beautiful soup over here. 
But I already appear with it, guys. I wanna wake up with you now. You can say to me now. I wanna wake up with you now. Like me, like me now. Yes, guys. Ta da! Moment of truth. The moment of truth, people. Let me get away with some of this splash. I was splashing a big meal and I was blending it up. As I said, guys, a clean kitchen is a happy kitchen. You don't want to cook this mess all over. Because they cook. You clean all up. Oh yes, my beautiful people. Ooh, can that guys? Look and uh, look how rich it is. You don't want it too thick, and you don't want it too runny, my beautiful people. So just give it a mix, mix it around properly first. Nice mix. You want to get everything to combine with each other. You want you don't want the top to Watery and the bottom thick. So just mix around everything before you share it out. So mix around everything like that. And then after, you can start sharing out some of that beautiful, delicious soup, guys. I'm telling you. Try this recipe. Anybody try this recipe? Do a local video. Send it to me. My email address is there. Do a local two minute video or like a 30 second video you can send it to me guys and then I will post it on my YouTube page so you guys try this Selvin recipe oh yes my beautiful people and that Ooh. oh yes oh yes my beautiful people that is nice that is delicious So right now, guys, I'm just going to sit down and it's going to have some of this beautiful soup. Let me get a little bit of space on the table right here. Thank you guys again to check in today in Selvin Kitchen. Thank you to show me the love, my beautiful people. Thank you a million times. Have a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year to anyone. check in today in Selvin kitchen guys Fugo mama big shout out to you my sister how are you today Merry Christmas when it come and a prosperous new year thank you to come to Selvin kitchen today my sister I hope you have a good Christmas and a prosperous new year So what I'm gonna do now, guys, I'm just gonna set up my camera right here. I'm just gonna have some of this nice, delicious soup. I ain't gonna have it. You can have it with biscuit if you want, some tough crackers, or you can have it with bread. You can have it with anything you wanna add it with. Or you can prepare something at home and you decide, say, you wanna have some soup as well at the side. So what I'm gonna do now, guys, I'm just gonna move up this a bit so you guys can see my beautiful soup over here, what I'm gonna put on this table right here, guys. Oh yes, look at that soup there, guys. Nice, delicious. Nice, delicious soup. So please, anybody try this recipe? Send me a comment, let me know how this recipe turn out. Yeah, my beautiful people, send me a nice two-minute video or a 30-second video and tell me how this recipe turn out, guys. Because sometimes you don't want to feel like you don't want to drink no, eat no rice. You're tired of the rice. You're tired of the flour. You're tired of the banana. You're tired of this. You're tired of that. So if you guys do a, follow this step, recipe step by step. And let me know how this recipe turn out, guys. I really appreciate it. So right now, guys, I'm just going to drink some of this soup. Before I drink some of this soup, I have to bless the food people. 
So thank you, Jesus, what you provide today. I'm going to say, Father God, as I eat this food, please make this food cherish my body, bless my body, and strengthen my body. May the blood of Jesus to cover me. In Jesus' name, amen. So we're going to be drink some. Oh, look and look how thick that is, my beautiful people. Look how thick that soup is. Mm. Mercy. Mm. Ay. It burned me, people. So I soup burn me. Oy. Hot. Oy. Mm. Yes, my beautiful people, this is delicious. So try this recipe at home and tell me what this recipe turned out. And thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. And everybody have a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. And I will see you guys in the next video. Marissa, you want to say something? Come here, right, right over here, my beautiful daughter. Come over here, come over here. Why are you in your mask? You want to say something? Say something. Use the mic right here. Subscribe to Daddy's YouTube channel. And tell him to have a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. <laughs> and and get daddy 100 million trillion thousand subscribers <laughs> you are daddy to have 1 million trillion thousand subscribers that's a lot i don't think anybody up there so much as yet <laughs> and have right. a merry christmas oh so guys have a merry christmas and a prosperous new year I will see you guys in the next video and thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it thank you guys for showing me the love and I will see you guys in the next video in Selvin Kitchen. Okay, my beautiful people, have a wonderful Wednesday evening. And I'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye. Take care. Bye-bye.